right, so I'm here at the Rite Aid, not far from the house, just a couple of blocks because today I'm getting the uh, second shot, COVID shot, the Moderna vaccine. So, yeah, the first time I took it, um, the next morning it started to, my arm started to hurt a little bit, and then by the uh, afternoon, if my arm did hurt a lot, it felt like, uh, like it was going to fall or something. It was that painful, but uh, I took a couple of Advils and the uh, pain went away. So yeah, today is the second and I have a feeling, today I'm not gonna feel anything, but tomorrow, yeah, I'll be ready. Now in Peru, they're only vaccinating people that are age 60 and above. They have, they do not have enough vaccines right now for the entire population, but that will change in the next few weeks. Okay, so I just got the vaccine, the Moderna again. And right now it doesn't hurt or anything, but I think by tomorrow, like the last time, it will hurt. And the doctor suggested not to take Advil, just to take a Tylenol instead. It has a, a better effect on, uh, on the pain of the arm. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow, tomorrow is Thursday and I'm gonna go back to work for the first time since April. Um, so th there are a lot of things that are changing in my future here in the next, uh, couple of days. Uh, once everything's final, I'll let you know, but, uh, some of my plans have changed. So I'll talk to you later. It's Thursday morning I'm going back to work today and it rained last night it rained a lot and uh, it hasn't rained here in two weeks I'm told by by my neighbors but yeah it's a beautiful morning Good morning, so today is Saturday, the 29th of April, and it's about 4.20. Alexa, what time is it? It's 4.21 a.m. See, Alexa knows just about everything. So yeah, this is about average for me. It doesn't matter if it's a weekday or weekend. I always get up about this time, sometime between four and five, even if I don't have to work. But anyway, uh, this is my new coffee cup that I brought from Peru. And uh, I just made some uh, Puerto Rican coffee. Uh, so sometime this morning, I'm giving a car away to my brother, a Volkswagen Jetta, 2003 Volkswagen Jetta that I haven't used in about uh, four years. It's been parked outside. I've been, I've been, I've been maintaining it somewhat, like cleaning it, waxing it every, uh, every year and uh, keeping it in somewhat of a running condition. That's a Volkswagen that I used to go up to upstate New York last September, as some of you remembered. Um, it does have a few, a few problems, um, but uh, he's gonna fix it and give it to his stepson once it's fixed because he's about to get his license. So they'll be here, I don't know, maybe eight, nine, 10 o'clock this morning, and that's a project today. Now you probably can't see it. It's uh, it's right there on my driveway. It's a little dark, but I'll show you later when he comes in. All right, guys. So here's the car, two two thousand three Volkswagen Jetta. It's in great condition, the body at least, anyway. As you can see, I've had it for eighteen years, and. I wash it and wax it as frequently as I can. So it does start up pretty good and quick, but you can hear that exhaust noise. Probably a muffler has a hole or something. 
I'm guessing, not sure what exactly what it is, but my brother will take care of it. It's decent inside, it's clean. So yeah, this car is gonna go away today. Okay, so my brother came this morning with uh, Teddy and he also brought a friend uh, by the name of Angelo. I've met Angelo before, very nice guy. So I was showing them not just the Jetta, but the Impala and the old truck I have in a garage. And I explained that the truck, the truck starter was not working. And it turns out that Angelo has a lot of experience uh, with that kind of, uh, with that type of starter. And he wanted to open it up to check it out to see what was wrong with it. And believe it or not, he, he fixed it. He, he fixed it right there in front of my eyes in about 15 minutes and we tested it and it's working great. So now what I'm going to do is in the next couple of days is buy a battery, replace uh, some wiring on the truck itself and install the starter. And I think this week, if not next week, depending on what I have going on, th that truck is going to be on the road. Now I didn't record any of it with this GoPro. Uh, cause I was assisting Angelo a little bit, uh, with, uh, holding the starter and what have you. But my brother recorded most of it with his cell phone. So I'm gonna put that footage right now. That'll be something if it works, right? All right, so we're trying to fix our our starter for the 52 truck, which hasn't started in like over 15 years. Nice. <laughs> yeah, soft. No. <laughs> That'll be something if it works. And I have a feeling it's gonna work. I just need a new battery. You said you have a tow truck? Mm, this, this was all on schedule, okay. by the way. It just so happens that we have a, an expert at... And we didn't know it. No, we didn't know it. We had no idea. I don't know. I don't know what he does for a living. <laughs> <laughs> I know now that he, he knows how to do... He's multi-talented, really. Yeah. Very multi-talented. Yep. Now I know that he works with motors. Grabó eso, grabó eso. Entonces dígame ahora qué año esa guagua ahí en el video. Que le acabo de arreglar el motor de arranque. That's a 1952 <laughs> Chevy. There you go. It's fixed. Yo. Yeah. It, it, it turns on like new. So now the truck, the 52 truck, has a working starter. How about and, that? <laughs> yeah, we got a mechanic in the house. We didn't even know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Electro mechanic at that. Yeah. Ese se lo envió mi hermano. Ese se va a poner contento. Él le encanta el electro mecánico. Wow.
blew up here. You see that? Yo lo, yo lo espatía todo, pero I know this is wrong. Mm -hmm. This is wrong. So. Yeah. That's, that's, that's where it puts it. Let's put it here. Yeah. All right, guys. So, as you know, through my brother's footage, that Angelo uh, fixed my starter. It's working now, and I'm gonna install it. Maybe I uh, replace a couple of wires here because these are not uh, not optimal. Needs to be. I need to cut this and put another wire there so I can connect the starter to it, replace the battery, and yeah, Angelo came with my brother to pick up my my old Jetta, which I gave away to my brother. So. And Teddy, Teddy's gonna be driving it soon once he gets his license. So we were talking about the, the cars, the Impala, which I'm selling by the way, this uh, 64 Impala. And we were talking about this truck and I mentioned that the that the starter has not worked and and uh, in, a, in a long time. Because, uh, so yeah, if you're listening to this Angelo, thank you, thank you very much. So I hope to have this truck uh, on the road in the next couple of weeks. Put the starter, get the battery replace some wires and uh yeah it's back on the road um more than happy if that's a saying more than happy extremely happy um ay caramba <laughs> you know you know what i'm saying